Rhodey can be seen wandering around and looking for his friends and heroic comrades. Then, he is seen alongside his teammates mourning the loss of half the team, though, this isn't the real war machine, but Rava instead many ways, the reveal this wasn't Rhodey expressing concern for his fallen comrades greatly hurts the emotional stakes of the shocking scene. After all, not only does Rava lack any connection to these characters, taking away all the impact of Rhodey's reaction, but she is also actively deceiving those around her and may even be happy to see Earth's mightiest heroes fall. War Machine's concerned post-snap cries of Sam as he searched for the fallen Avenger suddenly ring hollow when one realizes this was not the Rhodey who likely grew close with Sam Wilson over the years, but rather an imposter. Needless to say, the actual Rhodey has a lot of catching up to do after possibly being sedated by the Skrulls for almost a decade, meaning he missed all the game-changing events of Infinity War and Endgame. Infinity War does a surprisingly good job of laying out just how Thanos intends to use a fully powered Infinity Gauntlet, then follows through once he obtains all six Infinity Stones, after a sprinkle of time trickery. Thor stabs Thanos and seems as if he might have narrowly averted catastrophe, but Thanos tells Thor he should have aimed for the head, snaps his fingers, and wipes half the sentient beings in the universe from existence. Over a protracted sequence, Heroes Major, Spider-Man, and Minor, Groot, are wiped from existence, largely leaving the original Avengers, Iron Man, Thor, Captain America, Hulk, and Black Widow, as well as a few stragglers, Rocket Raccoon, War Machine, Nebula, etc., to gape in horror at what's happened. Thanos effectively retires to the countryside, his dream of stopping universal overpopulation achieved. The most surprising thing about Infinity War, aside from that massive ending, is that it gave Black Panther, the superhero at the center of one of Marvel's most successful movies of all time and the first black superhero to get a solo movie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, so little to do before killing him off. Just from a business standpoint, it seems extremely bizarre to kill off such a popular character, even temporarily. It's yet more baffling when you factor in how much Black Panther matters when it comes to representation in the MCU. But there might be an explanation. The filming of Black Panther ended right around when Infinity War began shooting, meaning that Marvel had no idea just how popular Black Panther would become before its characters were written into Infinity War. This could explain Chalice's relatively unremarkable death, compared to that of, say, Spider-Man, who gets a tearful final moment with his mentor Tony Stark, and why the Black Panther had so few lines and little to do. The good news is that there's a Black Panther sequel confirmed, and we'll most likely see Black Panther return from his surprising demise. The most surprising thing about Infinity War, aside from that massive ending, is that it gave Black Panther the superhero at the center of one of Marvel's most successful movies of all time and the first black superhero to get a solo movie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, so little to do before killing him off. Just from a business standpoint, it seems extremely bizarre to kill off such a popular character, even temporarily. It's yet more baffling when you factor in how much Black Panther matters when it comes to representation in the MCU. But there might be an explanation. The filming of Black Panther ended right around when Infinity War began shooting, meaning that Marvel had no idea just how popular Black Panther would become before its characters were written into Infinity War. This could explain Chalice's relatively unremarkable death, compared to that of, say, Spider-Man, who gets a tearful final moment with his mentor Tony Stark, and why the Black Panther had so few lines and little to do. The good news is that there's a Black Panther sequel confirmed, and we'll most likely see Black Panther return from his surprising demise.